Kentaro Miura's Berserk has been inspired by a wide variety of many things. A lot of these things I actually found pretty surprising. Like, for instance, we have Pygmalio and Rompo being used from Berserk, and, like, they don't look anything like Berserk. Like, they're, they're such a lighthearted series, but Berserk is so dark and twisted, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah. my goodness. But it kind of gives you a different perspective on Berserk. Like, Berserk isn't really about all the violence and all that stuff. The violence and all those other things that are inside of Berserk, that's just a piece of the big fantasy Berserk really is. And you can really see that depiction through his uh, the series that he is inspired by. For example, Gween Saga. I used to watch Gween Saga's anime when I was in middle school. I really liked it. Uh, the two uh, twin brothers, or the brother and the sister, they actually take a lot of resemblance of Griffith from Berserk. So yeah, you can definitely and, come to the conclusion that you yeah, like, took inspiration from You can, you can from see them clear, the clear inspiration from Berserk and Gween Saga. And another thing, when you look at Gween's character, you can see a lot of similarities between Gween and Guts outside of the lion head. Like just seeing Gween brutally beat down a monster or fight a knight, it just really reminds me of Guts doing the same exact things when he fights an apostle or other creatures of that nature. And the crazy thing is, he actually states directly in an interview that uh, when it comes to Gween Saga, that's his main inspiration for the storytelling, especially when you want to consider that Gween Saga is a novel, and when it comes to any type of literature, the story is always going to be to the forefront. So I really do think that he, that was a right choice in trying to you know, create a forefront in the fantasy realm because Gween Saga that's like that's I think that's like one of the pinnacles of fantasy franchises at least in Japan I would like to believe that and um it, I mean this comes to no surprise Fist of the North Star inspired Kentaro Miura's art style like you know Fist of the North Star Bronze Son like come on man Hokuto Noken like I'm not really surprised by this you can see some re resemblances in you know the what the character builds for uh Kenshiro and Guts. The gore. Yeah, the gore All I gotta too. say is the gore. Yeah. Like, you could definitely see he took inspiration with that gore because the the amount of brutalness that's in Fist of the North Star is just like in Berserk. Oh, you would actually be surprised because, you know, the gore and all that, he wasn't inspired by Fist of the North Star for gore. He was, he was really just inspired by Fist of the North Star's art style. But many other mangakas were actually inspired by Fist of the North Star back in the day. For instance, you have Shinichi Sakamoto and many others. I'm not going to get into too many details about that. But Violence Jack is what inspired him to put oh, yeah, all the crazy like, shock value. That's the funny thing, too, because a lot of people think it's going to guys Devil Man is what inspired Berserk. But I don't know where this uh, misconception is coming of, from, right? Yeah, like I don't know who's spreading these rumors about Devil Man being the inspiration. But... Devil Man is not actually the direct inspiration. You could say Go Nagai was an inspiration to Kentaro Miura since both series are his, hence Violence Jack and Devil Man. But what he really took inspiration from, clear cut, was Violence Jack. I, I feel like a lot of people say Devil Man because it's his most well known series, and a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people even like know about Violence. Yes, Jack know about it. But Violence Jack is easily the most crazy anime manga I've ever seen in my, up until now. I'm gonna say this. As of now, Violent Jack is I think the, that's most the most gory, graphic, graphic manga I've ever seen. Well, if you're not counting visual novels, I'd definitely say Violent Jack is definitely one of the more graphic things you can look at. Pre oh my god. Pretty disgusting. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Uh, but it's still pretty cool, like, seeing him beat the shit out of people with an anchor. This dude literally carries an anchor around and beats the shit out of them. That I, is so I, damn cool. It, it's definitely awesome. And then, um... Later in the interview, um, dude asks Miura, uh, "What inspired for what inspired you to create Guts' sword?" And then the guy was this, he asked if it was you know Violence Jack's big ass machete and pocket knife. <laughs> the pocket knife, like that's a big ass. Pocket that's why that's why I called it a machete. And he said that um, for the inspirations of Guts' sword, it was Pygmalio and a spinoff of Gween Saga called the Snow Queen. He saw like a giant holding a sword, and you know like I, I'm I'm going to guess that it's from the main character Pygmalio. He, took both of those swords, meshed them together, and there we have the Dragon Slayer. And he wanted to make it so that, you know, of course you could hold it and kill things with it, because, you know, that's what a sword's used for. And um, when it came to drawing backgrounds specifically, he used Rompo as an inspiration. And that's kind of, that one's pretty, you know, like, wow. I, I kind of wasn't expecting that, because it, it's such a lighthearted manga. And I like how you get to see, like... Completely different atmosphere yes. compared to Berserk. Yes, and you get to see that Miura took things from what he likes 
when it and put it into the manga. Like basically, I can actually see the backgrounds in Berserk taking like you know I, I can see the similarities between Wampo and those backgrounds in Berserk. Like, I can't. I think it was this one scene when Costco was looking up at the stars. Was it with Griffith? Uh, no, it wasn't with Griffith. He, she was looking up at the stars with guts and. I can't remember what it was, but like just looking at like how detailed and like you can see how beautiful some of the backgrounds are. You can really see that from in Rompo's uh, background art. Oh yeah, and while we're still on the subject of art, when Miura was younger, he would copy um, things that were drawn by Yoshikazu Yasuhiko, and that's the guy who was famous character for... Character designer for Gundam. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. The character... That's a go. That's a go. <laughs> the character designs for Gundam, so <laughs> that's pretty crazy, because I... Dude. Oh my god. Like, I, I like seeing things like this, because, you know, when a mon when you look at, uh, like, you know, coming from people who try to draw their own things, you know, we take inspiration from our own things, you would argue that what you look at becomes a part of you, right? Because yes. that's essentially what Kentaro Miura said himself. The things he enjoyed they do become a part of you because you know as berserk fans we all relate to guts we all enjoy the characters we all we, we take that in and it essentially does become a part of us and that's like why i really enjoyed about reading this interview because when he said that you know i felt like i kind of related to miura a bit but um he also um would look at drawings from uh, fujihiko hasano and that was the guy who made quasar stigmata <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but quasar stigmata wasn't out at this time uh it was probably one of his er earlier works back oh, around yeah. 1987 wait, 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 I gotta say something real quick quasar's manga art is actually yes, crazy it is insane that manga art is like i was like is this the same show i watched like th this manga art is crazy dude that was made in 2006 that, oh my lord bro i don't know what he was doing i'm surprised not ma that many people well, I'm su I'm not surprised not that many people talk about Quasar, and then I'm surprised not that many people talk about it because you know we it's it's so uh, yeah, it's, it's etchy, it's etchy, it's etchy. Oh my god, they would be. And then uh, Miura also claimed that he is Pippin when it comes to his physical appearance. <laughs> he does look like him. I noticed that you know when you look up Kenta Miura on Google, like his I, I'm assuming his friend or whatever, whoever. If, yeah. if his friends are the band of the Hawk and he's Pippin, who's Guts exactly? Oh, there is no Guts or Griffith. He says that his five friends in real life are base models for his characters. His friends are or he said like, his friend was based off of Griffith though. No, he said he had he took the qualities from his friend in real life and put them in Griffith. He never oh. said like that. They had a straight up guy like Griffith. So or they guys. got a girl in their squad. No, that they looks don't. Like Casca. No, they they got they have a judo, Corcus, Rickert, and Miura himself as Pippin. Uh, he said they don't have a guts, Casca, or Griffith. Griffith? Yeah. Oh, dang. And uh, Miura also said that he <laughs> kind of makes you blonde, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Ricker, like <laughs> Ricker in this car. <laughs> dude, that's tough. Oh my god. And then, um, oh my gosh, it, it, that's just crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like I was not expecting. See, like that. you, like so. I think it's like a subconscious thing where you just put yourself dude, into, your, into your work. Why did he smoke himself? Pippin. <laughs> and then he said, <laughs> Miura. <laughs> Oh, and it's crazy too because he classifies himself as the Yellow Ranger of the group. Like he's not really that much of a leader, but he's just the guy who you know he, he excels in the things he excels in. And he also said that he considers yeah, just like Pep Pippin in uh, Berserk. Yeah, he was fighting the apostles with guts and like yeah, he's one of the very few people that was actually. But it's mainly a physical appearance though. But he still mentioned himself as Pippin, though. Is it, it's kind of confusing. So, does thought. he have a big frame like Pippin? Because like, no. I saw him look pretty skinny. No, it's mainly just the face. Just the face? Yeah. I wonder why he made himself, like, a, a giant, like... <laughs> like, like, big, like... like, like looking yeah. like a Joe Star. No, he don't look like a Joe Star. He, he looks yeah. like a block. A like, block. He looks like a block. Super Meat Boy. Tetris. Yeah, he's <laughs> built, built like Super Meat Boy. Like, dude... But yeah, we also threw this name in the pot earlier, but Gonagai is a mangaka that had a huge influence on Kentaro Miura, you know, Devil Man, Violence Jack, Mazinger, Getter Robo, I and fucking, that's just... I love Mazinger. I love Getter Robo, I bro. fucking love Mazinger. But that's just the name that, of that's few. That's my favorite mecha, and I do plan on making videos on that. I, yeah, I'm, that out I'm doing the same with Getter Robo, but that's just the name of few of the franchises that go. He's, he's made over 100, I think it was, it was either 150 or 300. I know that's a big leap. But he made I, a lot of manga. I think it was over 300 mangas he made yes. by himself. Actually, it was over 360 mangas he's made by himself. That, that's a pretty crazy track record. Like this man's been in the industry for a long, long time and has a major. Influence. That's that's too many, literally. All I gotta say is Mazinger and Devil Man and Violence Jack. Like must reads.
But another thing that inspired Kentaro Miura was Tim Burton films. Like, he takes inspiration from Tim Burton's monsters, and he says that he wants to try and add that sad but scary feel to, you know, the Apostles yeah, like, like and all the, the other monsters in Berserk. See, that's the thing with the Apostles. Like, they're not Apostles just for the sake of being Apostles. Nine times out of ten, they usually have a tragic backstory as to why that's happened to them. Yes, like, all of them, like, I can understand why they do those decisions. Like, the Count... Rossine, like you, you get like to see what their life was like, like you know the count running in, seeing his wife do all that crazy shit, and then yeah, seeing terrible. everybody in his chambers just, uh, I, I, I don't blame him. And then with Rossine, and then the people like just not really liking her or anything. It, it, her and think of thing. Mozgov's followers, like they have like a menacing type of thing, and they're like ugly and they look like monsters, but they're all kind of. You know, there's a reason as to why they're following Mozgov's. Like, because the, because them. life is. He, he, they he made them purpose. Yes, he gave them purpose, and and that's like a thing I noticed between all the similarities of the apostles. They all kind of just they have their reasons for being the apostles, and that's why I really like the stories built around them. And I can you can really see the substance put into it. But also in the interview, Evil Dead Two was mentioned. This was because after finishing the first chapter, Berserk, Kentaro Miura mailed it to the publisher. Then he went to see Evil Dead Two in theaters, and. Um, he was uh, really surprised between the similarities of that and Berserk, and then also when he saw Evil Dead 3, he noticed that the main character's arm got cut off like guts, and he attached a chainsaw to his arm, and he had a shotgun on his back, and Miura was like, what the? This is just like guts. Like, And that's funny, because like a lot of people like to say that it's a di like, like that Evil Dead was one of Miura's inspirations, when that's not the case. That's just... He's a fan of Evil Dead. It's just that it was just coincidentally similar to the character Guts that he was already writing. Yeah, so, and it was funny because Miura thought he would get sued because Guts and Ash shared, shared those same similarities. So, yeah, as Deshaun said, the similarities are coincidental, but he didn't take um, any inspiration. Yeah, because he already mailed Berserk in at that time. Yes, so he already had Berserk made before he watched the Evil Dead series. Kentaro Miura also enjoys Sam Raimi's Darkman. He also believes that James Cameron lost his touch after he got big, but Miura does enjoy um, the Terminator. And Kentaro Miura's favorite movie of all time is Star Wars, and he also thinks that Star Wars Episode One was very weak. It's it's really interesting just to see like how many mediums he took together and put into, into and, yes, like he went from movies other mangas and all these like so many different things and he put it into a, a manga like he, that's why i like about manga it's just everything you like into one thing yes and you but it's actually goes with everything yeah and you also put like a, a piece of your life into it and it shows between how he puts his friends into the characters of the band of the hawk he also mentions that he put his past into the band of the hawk and all these other things it's it's really great and if you haven't done so already you guys should Check out Berserk right now. Read it. Do not watch the anime. Just go ahead and read the manga. This man puts his life into Berserk. It's something you don't want to miss out on. He puts so much work into the art. So much. Oh my gosh. And the anime, we don't even know for sure whether or not they're going to adapt the rest because that. Man, nah, fuck bro, adapting yeah. the rest. That shit garbage. That Just shit read is the garbage. Manga. Just read the manga. Just read the manga. You don't want to miss out on He puts too much work into the manga for you not to look at it. Don't miss out. Just go ahead and read it. Join the hiatus gang with all of us, and yeah, take it easy, and enjoy the manga.